Elements tonight in the battle between some Logan County residents and their water board members. About a month ago, dozens of water heaters broke all around the same time in the same neighborhood after a county operator was working on a main break. The big question here is who's responsible for paying for all that damage, the homeowners or the water district? Well, News 4's Natalie Clydesdale has been following the story for us. Natalie? Well, the short answer is there's still been no official decision made about who's footing the bill. But tonight, the board did give advice to the dozens of homeowners that were impacted. I was thinking there was going to be more of a fight like there was uh, last time. A much less heated meeting at Logan County Rural Water District 1 Thursday night. Just over a month ago, about 50 homes in or near the Cascada Falls neighborhood had water heaters burst or break around the same time. <laughs> After a surge that happened while a county operator was trying to fix a water main issue. It sounds like there was an issue perhaps with an employee making an error um, while switching over, um, I guess, some of the valves or something. Costing some thousands in damage. But I have about 15 people that I insured that are directly affected and each one of their um, homeowners rates are going to be affected for the next five years and these claims are paying out to be fifteen dollars to $20,000 just on average for each one of their repairs. Many homeowners impacted say they feel these costs should not be their responsibility. Just because it wasn't an issue with my water heaters, they're brand new. While no official decision about who's footing the bill was made tonight, the board suggested each affected homeowner submit a claim through what's called the Governmental Tort Claims Act. And I do think that it's, it's appropriate for the board to consider claims that are made on an individual basis if they'll submit Whatever they have as far as documentation goes, whether that be uh, uh, invoices, pictures, uh, a statement of what happened, um, and then I think the board should look at each claim individually. Well, the board says there's a variety of factors that will be taken into consideration with these claims, and we have the address of where to send them to on our website, kfor.com.